Just recently, Elon Musk once again emphasized on X that the Tesla factory, especially our next-gen cybercab line, is the product that autonomy and Optimus are what matter. This feels like a pretty solid confirmation that the connection between the Optimus robot and the cybercab isn't going anywhere. In fact, you could say they're a duo. One's a bipedal robot, the other's on wheels. What's especially interesting is the key role the Tesla bot Optimus is expected to play in helping the company roll out millions of these vehicles from Giga Texas. To put it simply, according to Elon, the humanoid robot will be actively involved in cybercab production. He said it'll mainly be used internally, especially in manufacturing, and could replace two to three human workers with a high level of precision. But there's also a bigger picture here. Putting robots like Optimus on the production line isn't just about efficiency. It ties directly into Elon's bigger vision for Tesla. And here's the real question. If the Tesla bot can handle both factory work and help out around the house, is it actually a massive bargain at just $20,000? Why could the Tesla bot completely change how a Gigafactory runs? Well, let's dive in and find out. Before we dive into how Optimus is going to be deployed on the Cybercab production line at Giga Texas, it's worth stepping back for a second because it's clear the world is going through a major transformation, and AI is accelerating that shift faster than anyone expected. Even Tesla, the world's leading electric vehicle company, isn't just an EV automaker anymore. Bit by bit, it's becoming a full-on tech company with AI right at the heart of its entire strategy. From self-driving cars using the full self-driving system, to the humanoid Tesla bot Optimus, and even the creation of Dojo, Tesla's supercomputer, built specifically for AI training. It's obvious Elon Musk wants AI in everything Tesla does. And that brings up a pretty big question. When machines start to understand humans, are we still the ones in control of our future? You need to be the best in real-world AI, and Tesla's the best in real-world AI. The truth is, in order for AI to become truly powerful and different, basically, to bring AI into the real world, Tesla built the Optimus robot. Think of it like this. You can use AI to ask how to fix a broken pipe in your house. It'll tell you what to do, but you still have to go do it yourself. Now imagine that same AI is inside a robot, and it can actually move, think, and control its hands. It could just fix the pipe for you. That's the real difference between AI and a humanoid robot. Right now, the world is in the middle of an intense race to build humanoid robots, from China to North America. But when it comes to who's in the spotlight, Tesla's Optimus is still out in front. Why? Because it's one of the few robots that has both mainstream attention and support, thanks to Tesla's reputation and the public's curiosity. Of course, part of that attention also comes from skepticism. Elon Musk has made some bold promises, and people are genuinely curious to see how a company that only has experience making electric vehicles could possibly build a humanoid robot. According to Elon, Optimus doesn't follow the typical path that most humanoid robots take. Everything about it, from the design to the components inside, is being built by Tesla. The goal is to make it as affordable as possible, Elon believes that one of the biggest reasons other companies struggle to scale is because their robots cost way too much to produce. Tesla, on the other hand, is reusing a lot of parts from its EVs, like actuators, electric motors, batteries, and power electronics. That gives them a major edge over competitors who have to build everything from scratch. Starting with nothing takes time and money, and Tesla's skipping that whole process. It's got the, it's got the real-world AI. So Tesla's the, the leader in real-world AI. Um, what we learned in the car, we translate to, to the Optimus robot. Um, and we also trans take the, our expertise in electric motors, in batteries, power electronics, uh, structural design. And then another major important thing is that we're very good at manufacturing. Elon Musk is confident that the Tesla bot will be the smartest robot in the world because it's designed to be as human-like as possible at its core. Combined with Tesla's proprietary tech, especially its real-world AI brain, Optimus is built to handle all the boring, repetitive tasks that people just don't want to do. With the Optimus Gen 2, the number of useful tasks it can perform has already reached around 1,000, and with the upcoming Gen 3, that number might not even be measurable anymore. It's pretty wild when you think about it. Tesla is known globally as an electric car company, but Elon Musk says Optimus might end up being Tesla's biggest product ever. He believes this humanoid robot could help push Tesla's valuation to $25 trillion. 
That's not a small claim. Just recently, Elon announced that Tesla plans to produce at least 5,000 Optimus robots at the Fremont factory this year. And according to him, it will scale up very quickly from there. So we could be looking at 5,000 units in 2025 and possibly 50,000 by 2026. In the end, Optimus isn't just a robot. It's on track to become a full-blown Roman legion. You know, half the 10,000 now. But, but even 5,000 robots, that, that's, the, that's the size of a Roman legion, FYI. Which is like a little scary thought, like a whole legion of robots. I'd be like, whoa, okay. Um, but I think, we'll, I think we'll literally build a legion, at least one legion of robots uh, this year. Um, and then pro probably 10 legions next year. And I don't know, it's kind of a cool unit, you know. Even though Optimus is being prioritized for use inside Tesla factories this year, Elon Musk's long-term vision is to turn it into a homemaker for everyday households. That's why, in Tesla's demo videos, you mostly see Optimus doing chores around the house like cleaning, serving drinks, receiving packages, and watering plants. It's simple. Elon believes that if Optimus can genuinely handle useful tasks, then all 8 billion people on Earth are going to want one. And that, of course, could mean massive profits for Tesla. Because I think everyone of the 8 billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want their Optimus buddy. And there's going to be some, maybe two. Now imagine all the everyday tasks you usually have to handle. Cleaning, cooking, washing dishes, even taking care of your family. Suddenly being handled by a $20,000 robot. Optimus can run for 8 to 10 hours straight on Tesla's top tier 4680 battery. Of course, if it's doing heavy lifting or constantly on the move, that battery life will be shorter than if it's just folding laundry or peeling fruit for you. From sorting clothes by fabric and color to preparing meals to helping out with child care or elder care, Optimus is designed to adapt to a wide range of household needs. With improved mobility, upgraded sensors, and greater flexibility, it can even move across uneven surfaces with ease. That said, yes, it can still make mistakes. Elon Musk has openly acknowledged this, and his point is clear. The goal isn't to create a robot that never messes up. What really matters is building a robot that can learn from its mistakes and correct them on its own. That's what Tesla is aiming for with Optimus. After all, humans make mistakes too. That's just part of how we learn. Right now, Optimus is only limited in the number of tasks it can handle because it still needs more time to collect data. Just like us humans, the more familiar we get with certain tasks, the better we get at doing them. If you dive deep into a specific field, you're going to perform those tasks more efficiently. Because you've been trained and you're used to it, it's the same idea with Optimus. If it's trained primarily for factory work, it's going to be better at tasks related to manufacturing. If it's trained for home use, it'll be more useful around the house. Bottom line, a robot's brain needs knowledge and data the same way ours does. The more data it gets, the longer it's trained, the more tasks it can do, and with better accuracy. That's exactly why Tesla has been focusing on training Optimus all year. So by next year, it'll be ready to step onto the vehicle production line with real-world skill and confidence. Now that you've got a solid idea of what Optimus is all about, think about this. Tesla's planning to deploy Optimus directly into the CyberCab production line. So far, the Tesla CyberCab might just be the most minimalist vehicle Tesla has ever built. It's compact, stripped down, and designed with just two seats. According to an engineer working on the project, the number of structural components in the CyberCab has been cut down to just 80. For comparison, the Model Y has around 200. That's a 60% reduction, which makes the production process way faster. The only thing holding it back from full-scale production right now is the self-driving software, which Tesla is actively working to train and improve. But once that's ready, there's basically nothing stopping the CyberCab from rolling out. That's why Elon Musk said during the Tesla All Hands event, CyberCab could be built every five seconds. I, I think it's, it'll be able to produce a car ultimately in less than five seconds. Like, can you imagine a car coming off the line in less than five seconds? That's, that's like, whoa. Oh my God. We honestly can't say for sure if this is 100% true because even we have to admit, it sounds a little wild. That one car every five seconds claim is the kind of thing that makes you do a double take. Just imagine it. You close your eyes count to five, and boom, a brand new car just rolled off the line. Whether Elon Musk is exaggerating or not, if this turns out to be real, 
and Tesla actually manages to build a car every five seconds, that would make car production in the U.S. cheaper than in China. Seriously, it would also mean Tesla basically has no competition. As far as we know, no automaker in the world has ever built a car in under 30 seconds, let alone five. Right now, the Model Y coming out of Giga Shanghai is already super efficient, with one car completed every 35 seconds. That factory runs two production lines, putting out around 26,000 Model Ys every week during its 140-hour work schedule. Over a 40-week production year, that adds up to 1 million vehicles from just two lines in Shanghai alone. If you still don't believe, check out the conversation between Sandy Monroe and Lars Moravi, Tesla's VP of Engineering. It's all there. So, if the same thing applies to CyberCab, two production lines building one every five seconds, that's about 178,000 CyberCabs per week. Multiply that over 40 production weeks and you're looking at 7 million CyberCabs per year. So, what does building a car every five seconds actually mean? For one, it means the casting process for the vehicle frame has to be insanely fast. And not just fast, Tesla would need a massive casting machine to pull this off. Let's hear what Elon Musk leaked. Which, which means casting's gotta happen fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we, we, got, we got to jam the, the liquid metal in, cool it down real fast, like real fast. <laughs> and then, um, I guess maybe we need to like, just get even bigger casting machines? Sure, why not? You know, down, yeah, let's 50,000 tons. Elon Musk says the CyberCab production line is inspired by high-tech consumer electronics production lines, rather than the traditional ones found in car factories. It will be the first car to use Tesla's so-called Unbox production line, which Musk says will be so hyper-fast that the line will move so fast that people won't even be able to get close to it. The CyberCab production line, in short, will break down the car into separate modules, such as the front, rear, sides, and floor, including the battery, which are assembled simultaneously in separate areas before being brought together. As shown in the clip from the Tesla All Hands livestream above, Musk has hinted at building a 50,000-ton die-casting machine that can produce five cars at once, like a mass-produced toy. Musk has repeatedly hinted at deploying Optimus on the CyberCab production line to cut labor costs. Optimus can replace many worker positions and many positions will probably be laid off. This is something we have to admit. The truth is, Tesla isn't the only one doing this. Chinese EV manufacturer NIO has already taken a bold and solid step by deploying humanoid robots on the assembly line at one of their factories. These robots can handle all sorts of tasks, moving materials, assembling small components, tightening bolts, replacing rusted parts, checking product quality, spotting paint flaws or scratches, even identifying missing pieces. And with high-end sensors, the Tesla bot can actually perform these tasks with way more precision than a human. When Elon Musk said Tesla could produce CyberCab in five seconds, Someone in the crowd immediately asked Elon Musk, are we going to be replaced by robots? And Elon replied, oh no, you will be promoted to manager. Your job is to manage a team of robots working, 20, 30, even 50 robots. Apparently, it sounds like a consolation. But in fact, it is Elon Musk's clear implication that Tesla will have to drastically cut its workforce, keeping only those who can adapt and monitor the automated systems. This is no longer an option, but a necessity, because Chinese competitors are doing the same thing. Tesla will be forced to react if it does not want to be left behind. Tesla VP Lars Moravi mentioned that the CyberCab will use a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack and still be able to go about 300 miles. If they can hit that range using LFP batteries, the pack would cost somewhere between $2,000 to $2,500. Since the battery usually makes up around 20% of a vehicle's total cost, that puts the overall cost of the CyberCab somewhere in the $10,000 to $12,500 range. Tesla has already talked about building 2 million CyberCabs per production line by 2026, and cutting down on production costs like this would not only boost demand, but also massively increase profits. Which is probably why Elon Musk is so confident that Optimus and self-driving cars will end up being Tesla's most valuable products. Long, t I think long term, with Optimus and self-driving, uh, Tesla will probably be the most valuable company in the world. Recently, Tesla has ramped up its recruitment efforts for Optimus, listing 80 job openings across various departments, 
from design to software and manufacturing. The large number of positions related to the humanoid robot shows Tesla is making a serious push to develop and scale the Optimus team. This comes as no surprise considering Elon Musk's recent statements about the potential of humanoid robots. Tesla's deployment of Optimus, an intelligent humanoid robot, is a major leap forward, stirring both excitement and concern in society. On the positive side, Optimus could help Tesla automate nearly the entire manufacturing process, significantly cutting labor costs, speeding up assembly, and improving product consistency. This opens the door to a future where Tesla EVs become much more affordable, giving millions around the world the opportunity to own a smart car at a reasonable price. However, the downside is just as clear. As Optimus becomes capable of replacing humans in many repetitive, monotonous tasks, and even rolls outside of factories like delivery, elderly care, hospitality, and security, the risk of widespread job loss becomes inevitable. While Optimus will also create new jobs in technical fields, like robotics maintenance, engineering and oversight, not everyone will be able to adapt or reskill in time. So, while the prospect of cheaper EVs is exciting, we also can't ignore the deep disruption Optimus may bring to the global labor market. What do you think about the Tesla bot? How do you see it impacting the world?